Warm greetings from the Philippines and we say Mabuhay! I am Gina P. Nilo. I am the Chief of the Laboratory Services Division. At the same time, I, uh, I currently serve as the Chairperson of the FAO Global Soil Laboratory Network for the Asian Regional Laboratory Network or SILNET. The Bureau of Source and Water Management is a national reference laboratory of the Food and Agriculture Organization. With this, we represent all soil and water laboratories in the country and at the moment we have 34 members which we call ourselves the Philippine National Soil Laboratory Network. The Philippine National Soil Laboratory Network was established in 2019. That was the same time that the third SILNET meeting was organized in the Philippines. I am pleased to mention that we are also an ISO accredited laboratory. With this, we are accredited for 17 soil physical chemical properties and this accreditation we got from 2016 up to June of this year 2021. We are very hopeful that uh, we will get another five-year full-term accreditation for ISO 17025 2017 version. I am also pleased to mention that in the spirit of harmony which is the main vision of the Global Soil Laboratory Network. We also promote the adoption of the harmonized test methods in all laboratories in the country. With this, we are able to do this through the implementation of the Presidential Decree 1435, wherein the Bureau of Soils and Water Management has the mandate to supervise regulate and control all of the soil laboratories in the country. For the meantime, what we consider as the soil laboratory are those laboratories that can analyze for the minimum parameter to describe soil properties. And these are pH, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and organic carbon. It is with great pleasure that the Bureau of Soils and Water Management through the Laboratory Services Division is the lead author for the determination of soil organic carbon of the Global Soil Laboratory Network's standard operating procedure. With me is my co-author, Mr. Berhil Bernaldo, and of course, I'm very pleased to introduce my team at the Soil Chemistry section under the leadership of Ms. Florfina Sanchez and our ABLE analyst, Ms. Jordette Jimenez for the presentation of Soil Organic Carbon, Walkley and Black method using colorimetric method. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy watching this video presentation. God bless us all. Organic carbon is one of the most important soil parameters. Determine its quantity in soils permits to derive many information, especially on soil fertility, soil biodiversity, soil erosion, and soil buffer capacity for hazardous chemicals. In this video, we will show you how to quantify soil organic carbon using the Walkley Black colorimetric methods. Procedure Colorimetric Method In the procedure of the colorimetric method, follow these steps. Number 1. The preparation of samples. First, weigh 0.5 grams of soil sample. Second, add 2 
ml of 10% potassium dichromate solution and mix. Third, add 5 ml of sulfuric acid, cool and stand for 30 minutes. Fourth, add 20 ml of water, the ionize or distilled and stand overnight. Preparation of standard skirt. First, prepare a set of sucrose standards as specified in the display table in centrifuge tubes. Volumes of sucrose standard and the ionized or distilled water corresponding to the mass of organic carbon. Second, to each tube, add 2 ml 10% potassium dichromate solution and mix. Third, add 5 ml of sulfuric acid, cool and stand for 30 minutes. Measurement Read the absorbance of calibration standards and samples in a spectrophotometer set at 600 nanometers wavelength. Second, when the correlation coefficient of the calibration curve is equal to or greater than 0 0.9990, proceed with the analysis of samples. Otherwise, verify the standards and reagents were cor correctly prepared and measurements is functioning properly and that the instrument setup is correct. Corrective actions must be taken and details of corrective action recorded. Calculations for the colorimetric method For the calculation of soil organic carbon, please refer to the displayed equation. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it useful. Do not hesitate to join our community of soil laboratories. Thank you.